Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Power Automate. In this module, we're going to have a quick look at Power Automate, which replaces Flow in Microsoft Office 365. So first of all, uh, I'm on my homepage of Office 365. To get to Power Automate, I need to click on the little button in the corner there to show all my apps. Um, there's Power Automate. So sometimes that, if you've got an older version, that might say Flow, but it's the same thing, basically. So I'll click on that, and then it loads up Power Automate to the home page. And down the left-hand side, you've got a task pane with different options there. And on the home screen, you've got some templates. So what Flow is, or Power Automate is, is just a, a series of steps that will run automatically once you've set those steps up and saved the Flow. So you can do it to um, upload videos you can automatically get it to post videos for you you can get it to email people if you if there's a file or a new event occurred there's lots and lots of pre-loaded templates that you can utilize where other people have already created flows and on the home screen you can see these two already so this one says save office 365 email attachments to a onedrive file uh, folder and then get push notifications. So there's just two, but below that, if I scroll down, you can see there's a whole array of different options, these ones, and then they go across. And then this is just the home screen, so it's just a snapshot um, of some of the more common ones. Now, if I go down this left-hand side and click on templates, you can see that you have loads and loads and loads of pre populated flows that you can just scroll through now on this example i want to create a couple if i go to create this is where you will see these sort of options so i'll create an automated flow and an instant flow that's where you manually click on it and then a schedule flow uh, i'm not going to do these two um, from this session i'll come back to that in a later session and again you've got some top picks down the bottom there um, but if i go for an automated flow um, what I'll do is I'll do one for to send um, a tweet to Twitter when I upload a YouTube video. So if I click on that, I'll call this YouTube. So what you have is triggers and then an action to happen after a trigger. So what I want here is when I upload a video, a YouTube video, so I'll create that. And then it's asking for a manual step, next step. So if I'd used the template, which I'll show you in a second to do the same thing, it would already be there for me. So new step. So now I need to find um, what I want to do. So basically, if I type Twitter, there's Twitter. And then post a tweet on Twitter. That's what I want to do. And it's going to ask me to sign into Twitter. And it's asking me for the password. And then I should get it sorted out. And what you've got at the top there is a flow checker. No errors, no warnings. So I can save this. It tells me it's saved, saved. And that then I go back, go back to my flows, and then that YouTube one saved. Now, if I create a template one exactly the same, if I go into templates and then just type in YouTube in the search, you'll find that um there are already preset templates and there's the one we've just created so if i click on that one it, it, this is obviously a lot easier now it's picking up um my youtube and the twitter accounts there i'll just click continue it would have asked me to sign in and then there it is ready to go uh, if you want to add extra information there you've got advanced options on the twitter you know, um, you can click into this and then you get these further options down this right hand side, what you want to appear in there. So, for example, you've, you're limited in Twitter because of the number of characters you can have, but so it's probably just going to be the title, um, which is already in there. But you could change that by deleting that and adding extra things. But I'll just save that one and go back. Okay, it saved it, so I can go back. It's just telling me that. Go to create um, instant flow. Um, 
is where you've got a button where you manually click um, to do something. So I'll do that in a second. I just want to do another automated form and I want to use a template this time. So one of the templates that I want to do just to show you how this works in terms of um, Office 365, I want to, uh, when somebody adds a new task to Planner, I want to do this one. So send me, I'll do a post that somebody's added a new task. So if I click on that one, and again, it's going to come up. I'm logged on as Alana Saxton. Okay, so you just click on continue. And then it starts the flow process off for you. So when a new task is created, so you select your plan. So um, project planning, and then you add the ID. So it's going to be the team, project training team. And then the channel within that is called planning. So that's it's project training. When a new task is created in project training, Yeah, there's all your plans and then that's the teams called project trainer as well unfortunately same name if i save that and then go back to my planning and there's planning project plans um, add a new task here we go again, um, assign it to somebody, and then add. So there's a new task, task that's been done. And if you click on post, that should automatically come up. It's probably a bit of a delay. But and there it is, it just dropped in there. Here we go again. So. That's what the automation created. So you've got a post in your planning channel and that's how it works. And that's all I wanted to show you on that little one. Let's have a look at manuals. So this is a manual task. So this is um, where you have to click a button to activate it. So if I just click that one, um, manual trigger, that's what I want, that one. Create, oops, name. I'll just call it test. Testing, because I've already got one called test create and then you have got, got to go through this uh, steps yourself so I'll just do the YouTube one again YouTube so when I upload a video that one uh, new step and Twitter post a tweet save so this is now manual so this isn't going to go automatic so if I go back to my flows what you got there on testing is a little a little a run button so you have to physically um, click on that for it to work and then it'll do the post so sometimes that might be uh, what you want to set up so you can keep control of it now if I go back to create next one is schedule this is a schedule where you're gonna let's do my mother's birthday you want to remind yourself um to send happy birthday so it's the 12th of october and leave it at 10 a.m and every 12 months you want it to repeat so months create and then new step, what, what do you want to say, email, and we're doing that, connecting up. So the title is going to be happy birthday, um, oops, sorry, not happy birthday, email, that's dot at g mail.com and then happy birthday so this will send it every year 
and then your message can be getting old now shit like that save saved back and then you go back to my flows and then you've got a list of all your flows so you can see the automated ones you can see the instant ones you can see the scheduled ones so that's basically how it works you just create as many flows as you need and if i go back to templates before you do that to search in there so if i search for twitter it should come up with twitter uh, save tweets that include specific tests or hashtag to sharepoint list share my instagram photos all these sort of things have already been set up by other people so before you start doing a manual one you want to have a quick look through these so if i what else can i type in there so if i type in blogger does blogger come up yeah so when a new post is published share on twitter post on blogger when a new tweet is posted so this is just um different steps that you can use and you can create a flow that will add them all together so you could post a video tweet it then from twitter post it to blogger and so on and so on or you could create separate ones it's totally up to you but that's all i want to talk about in this little session so thank you for your time and i'll see you in the next one